have uh, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, or let me say the Biafra uh, uh, counterpart, uh, which is also an urban nation. Uh, Arewa Youth uh, also is a wing in the northern part. Uh, they say statements against the Bola Tenubu may affect his presidential ambition in 2023. Earlier this month, the former governor of Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, declared his intention to contest uh, the forthcoming presidential election in the year 2021. Uh, based on that note, uh, the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, AYCF, uh, came out uh, today and cautioned that the former Lagos State uh, Governor Ahmed Bola uh, Tinubu stating it clearly that uh, king uh, makers don't become king, <laughs> thereby kicking against his 2023 uh, presidential ambition okay the yoruba will say afoba je on king joba uh -huh. that is what it is uh, for those that really understand you by say king makers they don't become king wow our uh, consultative forum uh, represented by the uh, yorima they have said uh, a, a point yeah and is a is 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 one that someone can ponder upon as a result of the particular uh, statement that came from the president of the Arawa Youth Consultative Forum, uh, Yorima Shetima, Bola Tinumbu's presidential ambition may be affected uh, negatively. Okay, uh, the main reason is that uh, the North has a high number of voters. Uh, so when it comes to deciding who becomes uh, the president of the country, uh, the North has a stronger role to play. Uh, therefore, once they are against any presidential candidate, uh, the president will definitely have a problem. Okay, let's uh, go for that. What that problem will be. Uh, for instance, during the 2019 presidential election, some northern states uh, like uh, Bruno, uh, Kano, Kaduna, and others uh, gave President Buhari over a million votes each. Uh, so, for anyone uh, or any candidate to come out and uh, say that uh, he or she wants to become the president of the country, uh, the North must stand uh, solidly behind the candidate. <laughs> okay, uh, I believe I uh, like people who dream big. As it is, I believe it is only the northern part uh, that would vote, and uh, it's just the minority. The full and people will be the ones to vote because I believe uh, the Arusas, uh, they are just you know setting their trap uh, for whoever wants to come and uh, you know beg them to vote, uh, except for the gullible ones uh, when they will give them uh, one thousand naira uh, with denomination of five five naira or five, five naira. When they count it is much, uh, they might want to vote and forgetting their sorrows. But as it is, the Yoruba nation. He <laughs> says, uh, yeah, Yoruba land, I don't think say vote deal. Uh, maybe that's why Tinubu carry in Gangara go north, sharp, sharp, because he believes that uh, he can win a uh, vote from there. And let him not forget, Yarima Shetima uh, is representing Arewa Youth uh, Forum. And uh, in a community or in a country, in a state, uh, the youth are the most populous. And uh, as it is, uh, well, uh, uh, Shetima's opinion uh, to that is that uh, Tinubu, well, uh, he might not really get uh, that uh, vote. So he, he was using an instance uh, during the 2019 presidential election. Says some northern states uh, like Borno, Kano, Kaduna, and the uh, others uh, gave President Buhari over a million votes each. Uh, so for anyone or any candidate uh, to come out and say that uh, he or she wants to become the president of the country, hmm. uh, the North must stand uh, solidly uh, behind the candidate. Uh, what he's saying in essence is that uh, the North are not behind him or solidly behind him. They are not even ready to vote for a uh, Yoruba uh, like uh, Tinumbu. And uh, that kingmakers uh, do not uh, become or oh, you know clamor for kingship. That is what he has said. Uh, we all know that uh, both the North and the South are very important. And when it comes to uh, determine, uh, determining uh, who becomes the president of the country, uh, but the North has an upper end uh, because uh, they produce more votes uh, during any election. Well, uh, according to Shetima, I don't believe that. Uh, because uh, in the constitution, except uh, I know we are not following the constitution, uh, but how it sees how uh, it's supposed to go is that uh, before anybody can be eligible uh, to vote, one, he must be above 18. And number two is that uh, uh, being above 18 is not even the yardstick, but do you have a voter's card? I could remember uh, from uh, your brother say, last year more war, mm, those that, uh, those children with the sock breasts, all of them, uh, the ones where we say, never ever feel, you know, talk, never ever can, cannot even pronounce his or her name, and they carry them, go to the print. We all saw that. Uh, good luck only wanted a free and fair election. That's why uh, they did not annul that uh, 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 win. 
or result uh, thereabout. Uh, uh, we all know that both the north and the south are very important. That's what Rima uh, Shetima is saying. And um, because the north has a, a population, uh, they might have population, but uh, the number of voters uh, is that uh, correct? No, I don't think they have uh, the correct uh, statistics when it comes to counting of votes. It says we all know Bola Ahmed Tinubu and what he has achieved as an individual and as a politician and we also know what he can do if he becomes the president. But if the former governor of Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, really wants that to become the next president of the country, I think that he should do the needful so as to make sure that he is well accepted by the northern youths and the north in general. Okay, what is the need for, uh, according to Yerima uh, Shetima, because I don't really uh, get uh, his point, because it's more like a clause or a phrase, uh, just beating around the bush, uh, that the uh, kingmaker, yes, uh, do not uh, uh, become king, or rather, uh, it is only, you know, give orders. As a national leader of the APC or Progressive Congress, uh, it's obvious that many will kick against uh, what I have just said here. But the fact still remains that we all are entitled to our individual opinions. And I have just a, 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 had my opinion. Well, that is what he said. But there are, you know, in, there, in, in every nonsense, there is always a sense. According to what he said, the only thing I could pick is that Kingmaker, do not become a king. Uh, and as it is, uh, boy, uh, sorry, uh, Tinumbu is a kingmaker has been a kingmaker and is always a kingmaker i respect him for that uh, but becoming the president uh this one uh the yoruba will say i say you think well do the passing boundary uh, because uh, i yeah, as a president i'm not voting for anybody uh, there should be a reconstruction of a constitution uh, that is what uh, the yoruba agitations is you know meant or uh, is a uh, they clamoring for and uh, the counterpart uh, the biafra uh, though the biafra are so very very adamant say they need their own country uh, they prefer, you know, uh, the United Nations to match uh, the Ibus, South, South Delta, uh, Edo, the Yoruba. Uh, they prefer uh, to be merged together. So they will now become a formidable uh, force as a Southern. So it's going to be Southern Nigeria and Northern Nigeria. Uh, but uh, 2023 is uh, fast approaching. Uh, you can see that uh, Buhari has at sight. And everybody is trying to make sure that yes uh, before this election uh, comes up uh, i want to make sure i do my own path uh, positively and i give uh, nigerians positive vibes so that uh, i can be elected or voted for in my next appointment oh uh, yes i don't know of uh, any other uh, uh, any other category in nigeria but as for the youth especially what really happened uh, in lucky to get uh, i was discussing with somebody that person says even if they like they should give him 10 million uh, if they follow and go the vote uh, the boots uh, to obtain print he will decide whoever to vote for so that's just it so nigeria as it is it is just a man no man or rather i would say if nigeria done good for you or better still if you have you know you can afford three square meal a day uh, you are okay as a nigerian so you don't want to know what the government or the politicians are doing up there hey well this is what i'm going to draw the curtain i would like you to share your views concerning tinumbu's ambition and uh, what uh, yerima shetima just said yes it's nice you know in uh, disseminating this information thanks for listening and god bless you